Hi everyone, it's Don, and I hope you're having a fantastic day. Well, could be some good news on the horizon for people wanting to cruise with their kids, as well as a brand new ship finally got to have her maiden voyage. Another new ship is having her maiden voyage very shortly. Just all kinds of news. <laughs> So my first news story today is Canada finally made it official. If you want to travel from Canada or to Canada by air, by train, or by cruise ship, you're going to need to be fully vaccinated, show proof of vaccination, uh, starting almost immediately. So the, yeah, it, it's been in the works. We've known this is coming. Uh, many Canadians have known this is coming for a long time. In fact, most of us who are flying to the United States right now get a test anyway, and we all we, to come back to Canada, we have to have a PCR test, not just an antigen test. So it, it's no surprise, but they finally actually made it official. Cruise ships, trains, which also includes the Rocky Mountaineer, if you were planning that uh, as well. So planes, trains, and automobiles, everybody, you're going to need to be vaccinated in Canada. Finally, also Virgin Voyages, Scarlet Lady finally set sail for her maiden voyage after over a year delay and three separate postponements. That's right, it actually had to postpone its launch three separate times. They kept putting it further, putting it further, putting it further. Glad to see they are finally up and running. A lot of really good buzz about the cruise ship since that first inaugural sailing they did way, way back last year in the UK. They were really mixed, mixed messages there. But the cruise line took a lot of that feedback into place and they started saying, hey, uh, we've made some changes. And right now, from everything I'm seeing, from even people who hated the cruise ship, they said, you know what, it's not that bad. I kind of get it now. I kind of like the ship. So I'm very glad to see that ship has finally been able to set sail. Another ship that's about to set sail is the brand new MSC Seashore. That's right. She's finally going to be sailing out of Port Canaveral starting next month. They're going to have their naming ceremony. Pretty much, I think this is the first time I've ever heard of this. They're having the naming ceremony on their private island. That's right. It's going to be a guest only kind of situation, right? Invited guest only. Normally you would have it in like Miami or New York and you would have all the media there. You would have everyone to come walk up and look at the ship from a distance, even if you can't get into the port. Nope, they're doing it on their private island. It's going to be a big hoopla, if you will. Immediately following that naming ceremony, the ship will move over to Port Canaveral and start sailing with paying passengers. Another brand new ship, another brand new launch, more ships on the horizon. Speaking of ships on the move, everyone saw that I was on the Majestic Princess in Alaska. I really like the ship. I love the noodle bar. I love some of the dining venues. I like the entertainment staff and I like the look of the ship. It was beautiful. And now... She's moved to Los Angeles, so a much warmer climate now. If that's what's holding you back from sailing on the Majestic Princess, you have a much warmer climate climate to enjoy those top decks. And I had, when I was in Alaska, we had a bit of rain. Just a bit of rain for 14 straight days. <laughs> but, you know, that's what you get when you, when you travel to one of the rainiest parts of the world. And, uh, yeah. But I still had a great time on my cruise. And the Majestic Princess is now situated in Los Angeles. And if you want to take some warmer climate cruises, you have a beautiful ship to do so. Before I get to the next two news stories, let me just invite you to hit that subscribe button if you haven't done so already. It really does help the channel. It just notifies YouTube. They're saying, hey, people are watching this video. Let's share it to more people. That's how it helps the channel. You're not being inundated with ads or anything extra. I would really, really appreciate it. 
And now a bit of bad news is Carnival Cruise Line. Well, you might be able to choose the fun to sail on Carnival Cruise Line. That doesn't necessarily mean the fun is going to sail. That's right, Carnival Cruise Line announced more cancellations coming up in the few, next few months. And some of these are now into 2022. We were really hoping that by now we would stop saying cancellations of cruises, uh, other than maybe changing itineraries around a little bit. But now actual sailings being canceled once again on a few ships with Carnival. And they all seem to be kind of one class. And a lot of people were asking, hey, this was the class that got sold off and sold into the scrapyards. And you saw that in Turkey and India. And I, I, I don't think they're going that route. These ships still have a place in Carnival. Uh, however, if anything slows down the cruise industry, that doesn't mean this won't happen again, right? If we have a big spike or something going this winter and they stop, you know, they have to limit how many cruise ships they bring on board, that could be a bad, bad sign for those class cruise ships. But right now, they're still scheduled to sail. They're just taking a little longer to do so. And of course, these are their smaller ships. So they want to get their larger ships with larger capacity limits to make more money in one place as they bring their ships on. You don't want to start off with your smallest fleet with all the expenses of running cruise ships and your crew. And especially the big ships tend to be, you know, those are their main ships, the Mardi Gras, the Panorama. Those are the ships that draw the attention and a lot of people want to get on. So those are the ships they're going to bring on first. And the other ones will come along in due time. And finally, for those of you wishing to travel with children and uh, you can't because obviously children under the age of 12 can't get vaccinated, well, Pfizer has now turned in their findings and have asked for approval of their vaccine for children five years to 11 years old. They've turned it into the FDA. The FDA will look it over and eventually the CDC will have the final say on the approval of the vaccine for children. Good news is it's been finally put in, right? <laughs> We've seen it put in. There's some good news there. Even better news is it could be available as early as the end of this month. That's right. So anyone who wants to travel with children and this is good news for not only children and families, but basically everyone. Not so much that you're going to catch COVID from a child. That's not what I'm saying. What I'm saying is less chances of any spreading because that's more people on the cruise ships vaccinated. And also, if you can't, you know, if you're having, look at that family who had to get a PCR test because their child was unvaccinated and they only got antigen tests because they got antigen tests for the whole family and thought that was good enough and they got denied boarding. That's going to eliminate a lot of this confusion. It will be, you'll be able to get the whole family on board under one rule because everyone over the age of five will be vaccinated and children under two don't have to get tested so I'm wondering if that down the road will now change. Once you can vaccinate five-year-olds and older, will they change that rule to anybody under the age of five doesn't need to be tested? That's a very big possibility, which would make so much clearer the guidelines for getting on cruise ships right now. And hopefully, hopefully within the next year, all of these guidelines have completely disappeared. I can't wait to get back to some kind of normalcy where I'm not listening to the news to find out whether or not I'm supposed to be allowed to have people over for Thanksgiving. Yeah, that's still a thing here in Canada. <laughs> well, I hope you appreciate this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Want to see more tips, more tricks, more travel vlogs from around the world? Hit that subscribe button. Till next time, have yourself a safe and a great vacation.